Welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a great question from geometry for grade 8. It goes as follows. Points R, S and T are vertices on an equilateral triangle, and points X, Y and Z are midpoints of its sides. Okay, let me just draw that on my glass screen while I'm at it. So we have uh, R, S, T being a point of the equilateral triangle, and the midpoints of the sides, X, Y and Z. All right, carrying on with the question. Uh, how many congruent tri non congruent triangles excuse me, can be drawn using these three, any of these three vertices, six points as vertices? All right, I've got to draw non congruent triangles on this diagram and count how many I can get. All right, well, my emotional reaction to this question is it's probably not too bad, it just feels like a fun drawing exercise, and maybe I should just try it. Maybe the strategy I'm going to follow is my strategy number one, which is success successful flailing, which is do stuff and see what happens. For example, make triangles by connecting the points. There is definitely one triangle. So the answer is at least one non congruent triangle to be made in this diagram. I can also draw one over here, and I'll do it, but I'm going to realize, if my picture were perfect, that actually this is a congruent copy of this triangle here, so it's not distinct. So are there any other big triangles I could draw? Well, yes, yes, the very big one itself. So there's at least two. And I'm feeling that's it right now. Well, actually, actually, don't take that back. What if I sneaky and drew the upside down triangle here? But if I think about it for a moment, that's actually a congruent copy of the previous one. Actually, there's a great little connection here to the common core state standards. Congruence is defined in terms of rigid motion. So actually, I can see a rigid motion that takes a yellow triangle to this red triangle by reflection. So actually, this is a great, great thing to bring into the classroom. Anyhow, going on with the question, maybe it's only two distinct triangles we can draw in this picture. One like this, or the big one. Now, that feels too easy. I'm a little suspicious about this one. This question's you know, got a little unsettling element to it. But I realize maybe I've formed a trap. Everything I've drawn is nice and symmetrical. What about non-symmetrical triangles? And suddenly, a world of triangles just opened up to me. What if I drew a triangle with that as its base, out to the skewed vertex on the top, and over here on it to Z this way? There is a different triangle, definitely not congruent, that you already had. So suddenly, by playing with this picture and being a little bit unsettled by the ease of it, I discover there's a world of triangles we had here. So go for it. Keep playing with these triangles. And maybe, as a teacher, you might want to have students explore what transformations take one triangle to another if you find that congruent after all. So play with this one. Have a lot of fun with it. How many triangles are in this picture? Go to the essay to actually find out when you think you've got the answer. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.